Well, all righty. Huh? <laughs> we we've done a handful of live podcasts, but we've got a this audience feels a little different because it's warm. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's a hot crowd, yep. hot stage, and uh, yeah, we've done was it four or five different sessions, performances, whatever you want to call them today. Yep. And there was one earlier today. All I said was uh, I was just trying to get everyone's attention. I go, "All righty," and he just burst into applause. <laughs> Was there some kind of like coup? Like, was there a plan like, hey, whatever Jake says first, we're just going to go wild for? Because it just felt like there was something going on out there. But I like all righty. I think all righty just needs to be like new shirt. All righty. All righty. Yeah. All righty. All righty. So, yeah, this is going to be fun. Uh, it's going to be a great wind. Wednesday. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday, It's going to be a great Wednesday. Yes. Thank you all for being here. the music, yeah? Yeah. Uh, uh oh, ooh, I, ooh, I think this tight beat means that it's going down with some random thoughts and white meat too. Midwest best friends eating fast food on repeat. So come along, let's have some fun and go ahead, get on your feet, cause it's the Ghost Brothers Podcast. So we are here uh, recording live on stage, uh, the Riverside Playhouse in Silver City, Branson, Missouri, doing our first ever Ghost Hunters event. And Branson, it's been so fun. We got 100 ghosties here and um, been riding rides all day, eating yeah. funnel cakes, whatever. So there's one story I heard. I wasn't there, but um, time and maybe you can time and are, can you hear me? Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay, great. Yeah, we, <laughs> he doesn't get on camera and he, obviously he's not going to get in front of your guy's face. So uh, we're going to stay brand consistent. So. Yeah. Um, Time in one of the first roller coasters you rode this morning. It was a water ride, wasn't it? Yeah, that's correct. Which one was it? <laughs> uh, Mystic River Falls. Mystic River Falls. So the way I heard the story go, correct me if I'm wrong, but it was your friend Graydon's idea. Uh, he said, hey, we should ride Mystic River Falls. The guys are like, uh, it's like the first thing in the morning, but yeah, we can get wet sure. now. And um, so like, all right, let's do it. They get in line, everything's cool. Then they're about ready to hop in their seats and they look over and Graydon's got a swim cap and a poncho on. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know, where are you, Graydon? Is that, was that like a, a bit or are you just like mad that they're not wearing ponchos too? Like it's obvious you should wear a poncho for this. <laughs> You're He's furious. furious, yeah. Timon, is that how you remember the story going or am I just making that up? No, yeah, that's about it. He just roped us into something and then he got the better end of it compared to every single other person on the ride. And how wet did you get? I got very wet. I had a very damp day. <laughs> <laughs> Language time and jeez. <laughs> what a damp day. I had a damp day. Yeah. That's funny. Um, no, we're not going to make time to be back there the whole time. Come out here and join us, time. Come on somebody. out here. Yeah. Thank you. He's still not really on camera, but, you know, you guys can see it's him. okay. So, yeah, he's in there a little bit. That's so. right. Um, yeah, that's very fun. Have you had a good day, Brad? Your voice is still pretty with us. We're doing all right. Yeah, I sang some karaoke and did all right with that. Uh, <laughs> great day, man. I just, I love Branson, Missouri, man. It is so fun. Like, just driving up here. Uh, obviously, the biggest bummer of the day for me was that my wife's not here. I miss Catherine a lot. And Branson just gets me nostalgic. But this is like... As I was driving up here, I was like, this is the best. Like, Silver City is the best. Everything's awesome. And, yeah, Everything's it's just been a wonderful day. awesome than I remember. All the rides, I'm like, oh, yeah, Powder Keg's really good. Oh, yeah, Time Traveler. This might be the best ride ever invented. Dude, the Time Traveler Barnes, is like, Don't sleep on the insane. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wild, dude. I, so, uh, how, many, how many, make some noise if you rode the Time Traveler today. <laughs> okay, most people. It's very fun. This is a ride, if, you, if you're listening along, try to imagine you're on that kind of spinning disc, uh, so every ride is a little bit different. And my first time going down the Time Traveler, I was going down the big drop with my left side down, which is a unique sensation. Okay. And I swear, my left eye, I couldn't keep it open. <laughs> I was like one of those astronauts being like G-Force trained. You're like Justin Bieber after his, you know. <laughs> Remember when he was paralyzed? Yeah, just oh, like that. Oh, like, you're talking like Lyme's disease? Like a stroke? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I was like that. It's kind of like you're like Yeah, I was like, oh, baby, baby. Uh, yeah, every baby. single time it's like, <laughs> there's a different sensation of like, uh, yeah, like what is happening to me right now? Like, in the, so the first time I wrote it, Thurbush, Andrew Thurbush, shout out Andrew, uh, was, uh, he's like, dude, I want to ride a ride with you. And I was like, okay, let's make it happen. <laughs> so Time Traveler hadn't ridden it ever, and we're going, and it's awesome. And I'm just like, oh, my, like, what? I don't know what I was saying, but Third Bush just goes, hey, man, you can cuss if you want to. I won't tell anybody. 
I don't think I did, but uh, oh. I was just, yeah, just like outwardly expressing myself of like, oh, what is happening here? And you're here? like, this is pretty damp fun. Yeah, dude, <laughs> this is some damp day fun right here. Uh, but, oh, man, it's Speaking of a- riding the tam- time traveler and not knowing what it is, so Nick and Nixon, correct? Those are your names? Yeah. Nixon, how old are you? Nine. Nine. He's a nine-year-old. Ridden everything here. Very impressive. They've never been here before. They started with the time traveler. We're Love like, it. well, yeah, I mean, it's Love a pioneer it. theme. Let's go back in yeah. time. And yeah, nine-year-old. And he's like, it was great. I heard fire in the hole is not so good. Yeah. Time traveler is awesome. <laughs> Rip off the band-aid with time travel. And then everything <laughs> else is like, what? Only yeah, two times going upside down? This is easy. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. So it's just been a good day of, of rides and, and fun. And uh, do you have any... Um, just non-Branson life updates, podcast stories for the oh, people tonight, today, uh, Wednesday. Yeah, probably. Let's let's talk about Branson first because I can't. I'll, I can look at uh, updates. Go crazy. Let's just go on some chronological order. So yeah, last night was so fun. We did social birdie last night, which was a blast. Yeah, just give it up for social birdie. Yeah, great people. Um, it's it's just a wonderful blend of like a little bit of chicken and pickle style, a little bit of top golf style, a little bit of just social hangout. And so we just got to just get to know and hang out with people. And I don't remember who it was. Uh, Might have been Coley. Nathan Coley uh, was just like that five hours hanging out there. Like that was a that was fun enough. I could have just done that the whole week. You know. Oh wow. Why uh, is he here then? Is that right, yeah. Coley? Is that yeah? Is that what you was that you? Uh, yeah. No, maybe it's Will. Was it Will? <laughs> <laughs> it was Will. My man Will. Okay, my bad. Cool. We had a good talk, though. Um, <laughs> it was just so fun. It was so it was a great way to like get the weekend started. I know Elizabeth Virgil. We were talking about like you know like last time when we did Grand Debut, we did the social like hangout time at the end. This time it was fun to like get them to all know each other. You know, at the beginning, get all the ingredients mixed together in the bowl. Yeah. You know, one um, of the ingredients was Hurricane Francine or whatever. Yeah. yeah had a little scare, dodged it. <laughs> I nicked it. Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, it was like as we were driving down, it was like raining a decent amount, <laughs> and I was like, uh, on Wednesday. So after we recorded Wednesday, we the three of us, Jake Timon and I, went to Raising Canes and uh, had lunch and was just talking about the Branson weekend. And we're like, what would happen if it rains? And we checked the forecast. It's like. Eh, it looks like it's gonna it's gonna be fine. It's gonna miss us. Let's just not worry about what happens no if it's gonna plan. rain. And so as we're driving down, I was like, why didn't we figure out a contingency plan for this? <laughs> Uh, but luckily, yeah, it was just a little bit of little spit, little spit and rain for a second, and it's cleared great. up right in time for the ghosties. So it's perfect um, outside. Time and how's your experience been? I feel like you and the boys. It looks so fun. You've got your own Airbnb. Like, do you feel like like a adult this weekend, or like how's it been? Yeah, I feel like the maximum amount of adult and kid, because like Airbnb, which is like very adulting thing to do, and then just like being stupid with my friends. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then like we've met. Some new friends have been awesome, and then just like hanging out with, uh, yeah, new and old friends, just riding rides, goofing off. It's been it's been really fun. I loved the, so the backseat boys have been posting on their Instagram story. Yeah, um, man, yeah, to, to be eighteen again, like those guys <laughs> just going on that road trip down, and uh, they get in their Airbnb and they're they're like doing a tour of the Airbnb, and they just like pan over to Zach like on the bed, spread eagle, like what's up, guy? You know, it's just like they're having a blast on this Airbnb, you know, like. Just, yeah. they're just, it's just fun, man. So. And signs some autographs, yeah? Or yeah. Hot shirt. Oh, yeah. I know that was an autograph. Yeah. For sure. It's famous. So, fun. so yeah, famous. <laughs> I, I saw my, my dad sign uh, Laura's sweatshirt, and I just see it say, Dave Ellis, and underneath, Brad's dad. Like, there's going to be a bunch of... <laughs> First time you ever signed a shirt. Okay, there you go. So, uh, everyone's a celebrity around here this weekend, but... Um, yeah, social birdie was just so much fun. Did you have any highlights? Any, any? I have one funny story. Uh, Go you for me? It. Okay. Yeah. I, I have a new like. I have a taste for something, and that's all I want to do from now on. Oh. Um, it's called pickleball. No, pickleball <laughs> was fun. While we're playing pickleball, it's me Everett versus. Oh no, sorry, me and Kelvin versus Everett and Malcolm. Uh, Malcolm Forrester, awesome guy, great jingle writer. And uh, Malcolm, you know, is talking some trash, giving me a little bit of a hard time, but we are whooping them. We're putting the, uh, they end up winning, but it's fine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we let them win. Uh, but I, I did something I've never done before. I did what's called a nasty Nelson. Oh, you like that? Dude. There's a there's a hot, so in in pickleball if you if you serve it and it hits the other person in the air no matter what it's a point for you uh, and so not only did I do it but I I did it in a tricky way Jake I I was like looking at Everett I was like what what are you doing like so I'm serving you right and 
and uh, and and Malcolm wasn't looking back. I was like, "What, dude? What are you doing? What are you doing with your face like that, or something like that?" And Malcolm turns back, and I just get him right there. And I was like, "That was the most fun thing I've ever done in my entire <laughs> life." And so I have an addiction. That's all I want to do in pickleball. Just more now. nasty Nelson. Yes, dude. Yeah. While you're discovering that, turns out my dad and Uncle John have never played cornhole before. <laughs> Sixty years old. Somehow cornhole has dodged them. <laughs> and yeah, they both. I talked to both of them today individually, and like, I gotta get me a cornhole set. Where do you <laughs> pick them? Like, they're pretty available. Yeah. Cra- yeah. Right. <laughs> Crazy idea for. I think it's gonna catch on. You know. <laughs> Yeah, uh, real popular thing. So yeah, yeah. Uh, social birdie was so fun. Naturally, you know, like we reserve or we said like, hey, it's gonna be from six to ten. Naturally, we shut the place down until eleven. Which you know, who, who would assume anything else from the ghosties? But um, after social birdie, so yeah, I'm there till eleven fifteen, probably I'm in the parking lot. It's like eleven twenty, about ready to leave, and then Preston. Where are you at, Preston? Right there. So I didn't even, never even met the guy before. Just re- and he's not even treating me like I'm the host of the podcast. He's like, "Hey, man, um, where's a place to stay around here?" <laughs> <laughs> really? It's like I was a pedestrian. He's like, "Hey, you're in my way. Um, where should I go?" <laughs> and I was like, "Are you messing with me?" And he's like, "No, I, I, I need a place to stay." I was I like, "That's it. great. You seem old enough to not be doing this." But um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, old enough, beard. responsible. Enough. Yeah. yeah, nice car. <laughs> yeah, right. Good that your dad does. Yeah. So, did you find a spot like best, best western? western. <laughs> it's not. It's not the second best. It's the best western. That's right. Right next to the Titanic, dude. That's a good one. That's a good spot. <laughs> yeah. Very good. I love it, man. Yeah. So, anyway, it was a great, great time. The social bird. Uh, Jensen. It was great. Jensen thought it was such a funny joke, and I don't know if anybody else laughed. I thought it was a good joke. He kept calling it Twitter because it's the social birdie. <laughs> And so he kept like the the you know the staff you know Jensen's like such a charming guy so fun and so he's like so uh, like is it social birdie or is it just called Twitter? <laughs> he's kind of like sitting there waiting for it. And I'm just like they're not they don't get it. Stop saying that. <laughs> so it's like so like Twitter get it like social birdie and I'm like yeah dude. So, so good dude. So Jensen man so. Hey, we're recording this before everyone really gets to kind of see and know Jensen because right. he's going to be giving the message tomorrow. Yes. At Sycamore Creek, uh, which is going to be really fun. Yeah. Really I don't. Excited. I think you know a lot more of what Jensen's going to be talking about. All I know is I was like, I needed to bring some like apparel for him. And oh, so I'm nice. excited to see what, how that gets incorporated <laughs> uh, into the talk. So. I'm excited about it. It's going to be great, man. Uh, yeah. Thankful for everybody that has put this week in together. Natalie, ghosty Natalie, Natalie Calvert, Calvert uh, works for SDC. Yeah. It's yep. awesome. Uh, yeah. Natalie, Natalie and Sawyer have been so wonderful throughout this whole process. Really, everybody that we've worked with, but specifically, obviously, this is like the big day, the the big culmination day, um, and yeah, just it's so just so organized. I showed up; they got a yeah. table, they got a highlighter. I'm like, Natalie, thank you so much. This is awesome, you guys. I'm having a blast. Yeah, so like all you've done is highlight people's names. But so sweet. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's just like it just made the weekend uh, not stressful on us. Like logistically, we're just like we just get to you know spend time face-to-face with the ghosties, and it's been a wonderful experience. So shout out to Natalie and Sawyer. You guys are awesome. Hooking it up. Um, and, uh, seriously, so yeah. fun. Uh, Timon, so. I think you had your hand up, was it? Was Timon, what were you going to say? Go ahead. Um, shout out to them as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank uh, you, Timon. Thank you're you. welcome. Have it's you it's any... kind of hard to hear you guys with the echo, so I'm like, I think I get what you're saying. But yeah, it's, yeah. Just carry on. Just raise your hand, and we'll... Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, so yeah. So, so this morning, start out... I just have to check. I'll let you know. Yeah. uh, (laughs) Start out with some fun uh, reverse charades. I thought that was a really fun idea. Never played it. Had a blast. Yeah. Never played it like this, like where it was like you literally told the person how to move their body. So can you explain it? Yeah. I didn't do a very, I didn't do a great job explaining it this morning. I would also never done it before. But I did fine. And I was like, all right. So one person is not going to see the screen behind them. They're not going to know what they're trying to act out. One person sits in the chair and they're going to tell you the bodily functions to do so that you can guess the clue essentially. So it's very similar to charades, but you're getting action on how to move. And so I said, so like, for instance, you wouldn't use other outside objects. Like don't say cup your hand, like you're holding a ball, for instance. That would be something you wouldn't say. And so then as kind of a surprise, I'm like, all right, Brad, you're up here with time and doing it, and you're competing against Rachel Triplett and her dad, Steve Coop. And uh, when you know it, first clue, Steve's giving it to Rachel. The, um, the guess is fishing. And he goes, okay, put your hands together like you're holding a rod. <laughs> <laughs> like, obviously, that's against the rules. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
it was hilarious. But then Rachel did the same thing. And then they're like, all right, Rachel, why don't you go? Why don't you go? Yeah. And then, was, I don't even remember what she said. Do you guys remember what she said? I can't remember now. Oh, oh was, yeah. Yeah, that, and that one's tougher. It was it was cracking a cracking a safe. Cracking a safe. She's like, kneel down. Yeah. Put your fingers out. Yeah, pinch your fingers together. Like you're turning a dial. And now, yeah. <laughs> It was just amazing that they both struggled with it a little bit. So it was exactly uh, how I was hoping it would go. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Anyway, that was a really yeah, I really enjoyed it. Fun fun way to start the day. You just feel like there's this atmosphere of like people are just ready to have fun and cheer on and uh, so went from there to uh, yeah had a lunchtime story hour is what we called it uh, with yeah. Jake's Jake's uh, wonderful dad and wonderful uncle. Yeah, your uh, coach. My coach. Yeah. Oh, there's the voice cracking a little bit. <clears throat> yeah. My coach. Uh, yeah, which is fun. My, my dad is obviously, I've drug him enough to these things over the time. He's getting used to it. It used to be a, what they have you do it? That Stratford used to ha- ask him to be the Dancing with the Stars judge or whatever. So before he podcasted, he was doing that. Yeah. Um, but John, I mean, he's the funniest one in our family, but he's never been asked to go on stage before. And he was having some <laughs> bodily functions out of uh, nervousness <laughs> last night. Didn't sleep. Took oh, his really? wife to the airport at 5 a.m. Hasn't slept, yeah. but got himself a turkey leg today. Yeah, he <laughs> so he's, he's fine. So. That'll, that'll loosen anybody up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and we were kind of worried. It was kind of like one of those, like, big time, like, it's like, is John going to show? Like, I don't know if John's going to make it. Like, he's, he's a big deal, yeah. you know, and he's a busy guy. And he, he rolled in just in the nick of time, and there he is, just, I mean, tell the, tell the thing, the uh, albino. Oh, that, yeah. I think that's so funny. Yeah, so this was just happening yesterday. So I actually rode down yesterday from Kansas City uh, with the Coops, just us three, really fun. We go down to Stratford, and they've never seen Stratford before. By the way, I mean, I think you guys probably know Steve Coop to an extent, but you can imagine, I mean, we get to Stratford, this town with... Nothing. I mean, I joke about it in my stand-up set. I say it's a town with one stoplight and one Democrat. I mean, there's nothing there. And we get to Stratford, and there's nothing but just like, I don't know, abandoned warehouses and trees. And he goes, this is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. Look at these trees. Look at those trees. Yeah. Look at those trees. And I was like, what would you expect? He's like, about like this. Yeah. This is kind of <laughs> what I thought it would be. So anyway, but we're just like, we're showing them our house. We're showing them the Fulbright's house. And at one point, my dad and John get going back and forth because John swears that he's been seeing an albino peacock. <laughs> and my dad's trying to tell him that that's a turkey. <laughs> and uh, John's got pictures. And uh, yeah, yeah. Just, I was like, well, let's talk about that tomorrow. Right. Absolutely. It's just comedy gold. These so guys. funny. So, yeah. Had fun. I, I was just out in the audience for that. It was so fun. Just I, I, was, with your parents. I was cracking up. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. So, yeah. And then what we do after that? We had a... Uh, that was blind karaoke... And we got to showcase the talents of Mariah Garrett. Yes. And Dom. Yeah. Dom did great, too. Yeah. And Dom. Um, uh, yes, yeah, so we did a little two-on-two competition, me and Dom versus Mariah and Timon. Mariah and Timon being the uh, classically trained uh, <laughs> thespians of the group. Uh, and Jake lobbed him up a few good <laughs> softballs, and they knocked him out of the park. And you uh, and Dom, just good guys. We had fun. <laughs> just... A good personality you on those two. You danced ten times harder than Timon and Mariah did. Thank so you. So you had that. You Thank had you. that checked. Yeah. yeah. Oops, I did it again. Looked nice from behind, yeah. from which behind. is where I was standing. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> a good one, Jake. Hey, uh, interrupting this uh, episode to talk to you about Good Ranchers. Hey, uh, Ghosties, who are you voting for this November? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You don't have to wait till November to vote. You can vote every day with your dollar at GoodRangers.com, baby. Uh, you can make a powerful choice to vote for American Meat. We all know that American Meat is delivered through GoodRangers.com. You support American agriculture. Make your voice heard for transparency in our food. Good Ranchers sources all their meat exclusively from American farms, which not only supports local ranchers, but also ensures that you receive high-quality American-raised meat with no antibios, no added hormones, no seed oils ever. No antibiotics, no, no hormones, no seed oils ever. By shopping from GoodRanchers.com, you're making a statement about the kind of values you stand for. Quality, hard work, dedication to American tradition. Right now, Good Ranchers is having a presidential promo. Yeah, that's for, for a limited time, you can get a free add-on for a whole four years. Think about that. Four years of free add-ons to the next election. Uh, four years, free add-ons. That, that means you, when you subscribe to any of their boxes, you get, you get to decide if you want an extra plain chicken breast not, not an extra plane. It's not just like super dull and boring. It's like just an extra package of plain chicken breast. You can get Angus ground beef. You can get Applewood smoked bacon. You can get wild caught salmon. Your choice for 
uh, in every order for four years. It's the perfect way to ensure you will always have high quality American meat in your kitchen. It's wonderful. Every single month it comes to our door. It's American meat delivered. Every cut's pre-trim, individually packed, vacuum sealed, makes your life easier. You don't have to worry about going to the grocery store, uh, messy meal prep, wasted food because of freezer burn, poor store packaging, whatever. Good Ranchers helps you get the most flavor and value out of every ounce of meat you buy. And in this economy, that matters more each day. So don't miss out. Use use our code GRKC uh, to claim this presidential promo worth over $1,200. Think about that. Every month, that's that's what? Uh, uh, 12 months, four years, that's 48 months. $1,200 worth of great promos. Bring 100% American meat to your family meals until 2028. It's goodranchers.com. Promo codes GRKC, goodranchers.com, American meat delivered. Boom! Uh, what was the, I don't even remember, what was the song you guys sang when you really got into it? The uh, This Is Me. This Is Me. I found, so this is, um, you know, it's a great song. Uh, I don't know if I would consider it an emotional song. My dad said he had tears in his eyes watching Dude. it. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> He's begging me. He's like, can you have him do it again? Can I you make him it. do it again? Yeah. So he had a good job timing. Thank you. Yeah, if we have a recording of that, we should put it at the end of the episode. I don't know if anybody probably, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Bennett back there. We, shout out to Bennett, Bennett's man. been here all day. Bennett's sound awesome. guy. Sound guy extraordinaire. Big Bennett. Absolutely. Big Bennett. Bennett, I know you love us talking about you, man, you know, in front of everybody, but I, I, I went back there. There's like a little room back behind him, and I was like Ooh. just practicing my, or not practicing. <laughs> no one, everyone knows I had not practiced my stand-up. Uh, uh, looking over <laughs> these stand-up notes, and uh, I hear Bennett talking to one of his coworkers like, yeah, this is so fun. Like, these guys are just podcasters, about to get to see stand-up comedy here. Kind of. He's like, yeah, these people are pretty fun. So it's fun to always, uh, to see like, somebody new uh, to the ghosty community here. So shout out Bennett. And we had some new ghosties as well. well I don't know if they were ghosties. I don't know about ghosts. We had new people. We had some new people that were over on the side uh, during blind karaoke. And Natalie's like, are you sure they're not with us? I was like, they're, they're pretty classic. Uh, She's in a motorized know. cart. Yes. Yeah. Motorized cart, and he's got an oxygen tank, I think. So, yeah, I think they're probably. It did look like a Ghost Runner shirt, though, for a split second. Yes, it said, dude. like, grandfather or something. But yeah. I was like, eh, maybe. Yeah, the whole, 100%. And uh, I was talking to people, I was like, what's your over-under and how long they stay here? They stayed for the whole blind karaoke. Yeah. I mean, 35 minutes. Also There's... cried when Timon was singing that song. <laughs> yeah. So. And yeah. then I heard uh, someone else was telling me that when we were, so the, then the next session we did was titled Stand Up Comedy That We've Never Performed Before. Yep. And I'd say we delivered. I'd say <laughs> they understand why, yeah. <laughs> And uh, someone was telling me we couldn't see, but someone did pop their heads and heard about one and a half jokes. We're like, we're <laughs> turned right around and left. Well, it was like a support group for people that struggle <laughs> with something. Yeah. Just up there nervous on stage. Also, uh, great, Poncho Graydon was telling me that he's been walking by and he heard someone. He's like, it, the sign said comedian, you know, Stanley Johnson, whatever. Uh, and he's like, I, I stopped for a little bit to like hear his jokes. And he said, it must have not been going well. Because he said, I left when he said, how about I do some magic tricks? <laughs> so <laughs> at least we never got to that point. Yeah. What do we do with the blind karaoke again? What do we go back to uh, that? Yeah. Any, anybody back there? Bennett, go ahead and play some Britney Spears. <laughs> Um, but the ghosties are so nice. They they made us feel funny. Absolutely. I don't know if we were, but oh, and man. then we did a little uh, VIP social yeah. hour. Dude, that place was so cool. I I mean, so so Sawyer, shout out Sawyer. Sawyer, Sawyer, so seashells. So Sawyer also working uh, SDC, and he was telling me like I was admiring all the woodworking aspects of it, and he's like, "There's no like this is all like traditional joinery, no like screws, no like metal like joining this whole thing together." I was like, that is so freaking cool. Like, it's explain like, it to me like it's a uh, explain it to me in time and like it's a YouTube video. Okay, how would yeah. we understand that? So, um, yeah, let's. So you know, jump cuts. Yeah. You know, like, or you know, software. You know, software. How you like? Yeah, I think we know. We know software. software. So this is like no software, just like straight video. Whoa! <laughs> Not nuts. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> wow. <laughs> right, guys. We got to try that. Yeah. This whole time we've been doing software. <laughs> This whole time we've been using software. <laughs> Just getting in the way. Just use video, man. One, one, one continuous video. take. Even though it looks like, oh, that surely they had multiple scenes in there. Nope, one continuous take. What's the war movie where they did that? 1917? Yeah, it's the 1917. It was, it was the joinery. That, that, it was made in 1917. Yeah, the wood. Yeah, Perfect. So. It's cohesive. Anyway, that, it was a beautiful place. I so. never made it to the kitchen. I don't even know. The kitchen was such vibes, dude. It was... Does that sound cool when I said that? Uh, it was gas. So vibe, so gas. Uh, Rachel was telling me about the kitchen. She's like, this is so cool. 
it was a train. Uh, she's like, it's so big. Like, I told them, I was like, you guys need to shoot cooking shows in here. And they're like, we do. That is what we do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, good. You nailed it. Yeah. yeah so from what I understand, uh, Natalie was saying, shout out, Natalie. Hey, yeah, Natalie. Uh, uh, we're clapping for Natalie. So, I will. <laughs> yep. So uh, Natalie was, no, I'm just kidding. Um, she was saying that like a, until a year ago, two years ago, it was like. Who was saying this? Natalie. Hey, Natalie. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so it, it was like, it was kind of an exclusive, like you couldn't use it, you couldn't rent it out or whatever. And now it's like, so, so we're, kind of, we're kind of a big deal for being able to go in there. And Oh, they had, yeah, pumpkin iced coffees. They had bread pudding, ice cream, just the works. Good, good time. So uh, it was a sweet time. So I'm basically I'm trying to make people that didn't go feel a little bit like that. I mean, you out. really missed the joinery. The joy, you missed the, Janelle did appreciate the joinery. Janelle, right? Thank you. <laughs> Hard to, hard to see. Not enthusiastic. I, yeah. I was trying to explain it to her. She's like, okay, that's pretty cool. So, anyway. Yeah, she also didn't really understand very well. You had to give so. her the software talk. Uh, I was like, so, Janelle, you know how, yeah, uh, there's a video. <laughs> anyway. So. And then uh, what else did we do after that? Uh, after that was stand-up comedy, I think. Was then, it? It's so yeah. bad how I can't remember things yeah. I've done hours ago. It's wild. I, I was like trying to, I was like, surely I'll just remember everything for the podcast. I haven't been able to like reflect on anything yet because I think we're just in it. It's just happening. Yeah. yeah. How are you doing energy wise? How's the voice? Can you still lead worship tomorrow? Oh, sure. Make a joyful noise. Am I right? You know, yeah. it's just, yeah. And you and we'll make it happen. the amount of rehearsal you and Timon have done, I yeah. mean, he, he can cover for you. If I was like, listen, it. Timon, you know these songs, right? Yeah. We'll figure it out. Yeah. So I heard me earlier today if I knew them. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And he knew he did. So we're yeah. good. Uh, it'll be great. No, I'm excited about it. Um, yeah, the voice is good. Energy levels. I didn't sleep very well last night. Nervous? I don't know. Maybe. I, I never sleep well on the beach vacations either. Really? You think about Nasty Nelson? I was like, man, I just got to go do that again. Uh, I also had a roommate with me named Jensen Harper who <laughs> we, we hostage taped up together. It was a good time. In post, um, in software, we should put the selfie that Jensen took. Oh, yeah, he did. He sent a picture. Good night to Rachel and Jake. And, uh, it was nice of you to and, do that. Yeah. I learned pretty quickly later that he took it off because in his sleep, out of, out of nowhere, I just hear him, oh, it's going to spin his own. <laughs> and it kind of sounded like he was like almost trying to do like the uh, like Ghost Runners podcast theme song, but like Maybe. in mumble. It was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> And so I was like, all right, I'm awake. And so I get up to go to the bathroom. And that's when I learned that Jensen also seems like he might have night terrors of some sort. And just like was like shadow boxing or something. I don't know what was happening. And I was like, I, I was scared. I was like, I need to like defend myself Mouth a little bit. Mouth tape his arms down. Yeah. Yeah, so now him. I understand like the entertainment that you have every single night with Rachel. Rachel, like, Rachel. You never know what's going to happen yeah. here. So. She always apologized. Like, sorry, I fell asleep on the couch. I'm like, well, you called me Uncle Larry. It was yeah. awesome. I'm Don't not, be sorry. I'm yeah. glad you did. Yeah. You said watch out for those bugs. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was entertaining. Yeah. How are you feeling? I feel good. Yeah. yeah these are always exhausting. I, it's so uh, replenishing to be back. Where I mean, I have so many like childhood memories being here, so Dude. it's so fun. Although I got lost. A night has fallen. I got legitimately lost. I didn't know where <laughs> I was. I was by myself getting here. That wasn't super fun. Yeah. But otherwise, it's, it's great to be in Southern our City. Southern our City. There's nothing like it. Uh, it's just, it's just a, I, hope, I hope for the people that have, I know so we have like some returners. We have some people. Who have How never, many states are represented here? You said it earlier. I think it's like 22 or something like that, which is amazing. So Not cool. Not bad. Um, and yeah, hopefully the people that have come here for the first time have enjoyed it as much as we have, you know, because yeah, it's nostalgic for us, but it's also just like, I mean, where else are you going to go see, like, Natalie? Hey! Yeah! Uh, was talking about how they have like a custom furniture making shop in, in Park, on Park. Oh yeah, Ali took uh, a nap there today. Took a nap? Yeah, Ali and Gina. Yeah, you guys both. Yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah, didn't, yeah. you guys took a nap in the furniture? Yeah, yeah, they were telling me that. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, how many other amusement parks can you, like, custom order furniture to, like, be sent to your house? I don't know. I thought they were making it up. Yeah, I, wow. Now I'm learning it's real. Yeah, it's real. So it's just a cool, wonderful spot that I'm glad we're here. So. Yes. I, uh, I was looking through my podcast notes. A uh, couple notes from other things we've already mentioned. So... Uh, 
we told a story we, uh, during story time hour with uh, my dad and John. My dad was telling a story about my Uncle John, how he got so sick on a ride, and how all he wanted was a turkey leg, and how strange that was. Meanwhile, Steve Coop, knowing this was going to happen, went and decided he was going to get a turkey leg, just for like a three-second joke. Yeah. So he goes and gets the turkey leg. We all saw it today. And afterwards, we were like, how much was that turkey leg? And Steve was like, oh, it was nothing. It wasn't that much. <laughs> and my dad's like, I bet that was eight or nine dollars, though. And he goes, oh, it wasn't anything. How much was it? He goes, $18.99. <laughs> Spent $19 on a joke. <laughs> Worth it. Worth it. Was, it. Yep. it was yeah. Awesome. And I have to talk about it so it makes the money yeah. go a little further. It was awesome watching John like walk up with that turkey leg. I didn't know it was happening. It was great. It was a wonderful surprise. Money well was spent. A great prop. Yeah. Good job, Steve. Thank you for contributing there. So another thing, I need to make an addendum. So the people in the building right now with me, you guys don't know this, but we've already recorded an episode that'll it's gonna go out on Monday. In that episode, we talked about like unpopular opinions or like hot takes. My very first pick in that game was like live music. Who cares? It's, it's the worst. It's so annoying. We get to the social birdie last night, and there's live music. Yeah. I'm like, all these people are going to think I hated that guy. Oh. Uh, like, all these hundred people in here are like, wow. it like, yeah. Yeah, like, he, he must have hated that guy at social birdie. But we've already recorded that episode. We recorded that beforehand. Has nothing to do with it. I did hate it. Did you? But <laughs> I, it, was li- it was everything I said it was on the podcast. Yes. But it was nothing personal at that Towards guy. Towards him. Uh, dude, speak- so loud. He, yeah, it was just, uh, it, yeah. We talked about it. Yeah. So loud. Uh, I have enjoyed. Did you notice the, specifically the time traveler has some amazing music in the line? All I notice is it drives yeah. me nuts. <laughs> <laughs> you know, anyone else knows that? The ticking. I get it. It's time. Okay. I noticed at one point I, I was standing in line. I was either with Third Bush or with Cole Ford and uh, Tabitha. And uh, <laughs> what's her name? <laughs> <laughs> I called her Tabitha last night. I was so embarrassed about it. Uh, her real name's Talia. Um, but my dad also called a guy named Colin Tom for an hour and a half last night, and now he said it's it's already t- it can't it's be Tom. Colin now yeah. it has to be Tom. It was I was I was hanging out with Cole, or yeah Cole Tabitha and Tom okay. in line. Uh, I don't know if it was that time or with Third Bush, but I was like, this is a this is like a bluegrass version of Freebird right now. And all of a sudden, yeah, they start going into the whole like solo and everything. Dad, dad oh. in the background like, oh that's a good song. <laughs> that's that's rock and roll right there. Uh, so. Anyway, yeah, just been really enjoying all the bluegrass music here uh, in SCC. Uh, it's been fun. For, so I think Rachel has been here once before. Maybe we told the story on the podcast. You know, she came to some of our cities, such a people pleaser. My family, we love roller coasters. And like, Rachel, you going to come ride with us? Oh, my gosh, yes. All right, well, we're doing Time Traveler. We rode it four times in a row. And then afterwards, we all learned that Rachel hates roller coasters. <laughs> and I think she is so happy. So uh, real quick story. I think it was two days ago. Um, I knew that Rachel was going in for like a wisdom tooth consultation. We just got insurance, so we're going nuts right yeah, now. Baby. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it's a wisdom tooth consultation. I wake up to a text, and it's just like a string of texts. It's like, guess they're coming out today. Like wisdom tooth, it's happening. And so I wake up, I'm like, oh my gosh, I mean, anesthesia, surgery, do you need a ride? Yeah, right. And then she just sends a selfie back, like, nope, driving to school. And I was like, you're in, yeah, you're in danger. Yeah, you're going to, like, hurt someone. Like, that after the appointment? That morning, yeah. I was made it to school on time. Um, so but it turns didn't... out it was, like a, it was just, like, a Novocaine thing or whatever. It was just, like, local. I don't know how it, it worked. But everyone at school was like, why are you here? But So, so she, she just, got like, him out. surprise, your wisdom teeth are coming out today. Holy cow. Like, she got him out within an hour and then was back at, like, all right. Let's go. And just went to school that day. Yeah. So anyway, but because of that, she can't ride roller coasters. And she's oh, fired up about bummer. that. So, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, I can't do it. And just eats mashed potatoes and ice cream now. And Ooh, life's that sounds good. pretty good. Yeah. Uh, one other thing I want to say about Rachel. I, I purposely didn't say this last week on the podcast because I wanted there to be kind of a live audience. Rachel got a call last week. Um, and she is hating that I'm doing this. She, she does not like it, but she's my wife. I can brag on her. She got a call last week from an unknown number, answered it, uh, and said that Rachel Coop is being inducted into the Iowa Women's Sports Hall of Fame. Oh! <laughs> no way, dude. Crazy. That's I, amazing. Crazy. Is this before or after Caitlin Clark's been inducted? Because uh, yeah. I think that's amazing. I think too. she got in there before Caitlin Clark. That's so awesome. Pretty special. Oh wow. Yeah, I'm so proud. I had nothing to do with it, obviously, and I'm still like so fired up. Really? Like, that's the coolest thing. Yeah. Holy cow! Can we all go to her like induction ceremony? Yeah. <laughs> She's saying maybe not. Maybe you don't. 
<laughs> but maybe it's November 7th. I, I yeah, yeah, maybe no. it's November 7th and uh, I, don't, I don't know. We'll see. Congratulations. That's yeah. amazing. I just think that's so cool. Wow. No, that's unbelievable. So, shout out. Shout out. Yeah, raise oh, the roof. Oh, this raise the roof has just been the unofficial. We've been raising the roof a lot today. Oh, my gosh. It's so funny. Oh, I saw you had your hands I, up. I, I, know, yeah, did, I did do Tell it. Tell me I had two hands up. They're both up. <laughs> two questions? Yeah. <laughs> no, okay. Just raising the roof. But. Uh, anyway, um, should we uh, move along? <laughs> Let's move along, baby. All-American reject style. Wow. I hate to pause the podcast right after that insightful and clever remark by Brad. But I am here to talk about Main Street Roasters real quick. And uh, I wanted to do it... Um, uh, in the studio because this is where this is where I feel most at home because it is my home. <laughs> Brad's over there giving me that face of like, dude, you're the you're the dumbest guy I know. Um, I'm in my home right now is what I'm trying to say, and I bet sixty. Uh, our analytics tell us that sixty eight percent of you guys are also in your home right now. You know what's a great way to wake up in your home with a nice pot of cough. A nice, a nice brew, a nice little Main Street roast. I'm talking about boba, bo, bo, boba, boba, big old bag of beans or grounds. MainStreetRoasters.com is where you can get all your coffee needs, all your coffee wants. Get them for yourself. Get them for a friend. Get them for a grandparent. We got, we got some holiday coming up. Prob- Halloween beans, Halloween beans. October 31st, celebrate Halloween uh, by getting some Main Street Roasters and using promo code GRKC to get 10% off your order. Now, back to what Brad was saying. <laughs> Let's move along, baby. All-American reject style. Let's do, um, do you want to do some schmores or do some, some voice memos? Oh, yeah. Let's do schmores first and then voice memos. See how much time? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. okay. Smart, uh, smart. So shout out Hannah Warner. Go see Hannah Warner. Uh, had the suggestion for schmores topic this week of... Uh, sauces, the s'mores of sauces. Yeah, it feels like we should have done that, but I don't think we have. I don't think we've ever done it. So um, we're going to do this, um, and yeah, we'll just do it live in front of y'all, and it'll be fun. Yeah, uh, I feel like there should be, we should do like a live vote, though. Wouldn't that be fun? Like, it's, oh, uh, we don't have to okay. wait till next Wednesday. Like, they vote right now. Sure, yeah. And uh, maybe instead of the winner. Oh, we should have like a consequence for a loser? Yeah, just like, if you come in last, it's not good. We, uh, yeah, yeah. Cody Davis vlogs about you, you know, all, <laughs> all, you know. You, uh, what if you go Mystic River, no poncho? Mystic Late River, night. sans ponch. Sans ponch. You can put on the swim cap, no ponch. <laughs> yeah, you, you have to wear the swim cap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so Mystic so, River's the one with the big, like, yeah. Yeah, big raft, gonna get wet, should wear a poncho, if not, great and furious. Okay, sans ponch plus cap. You have to do it, yeah, as soon as the podcast is over. Like, pretty much drive home. Oh, it's got to okay. be a damp night, Diamond. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's got to be damp. <laughs> okay, so the loser has to go on a Loser, at, yeah, late Perfect. night, water Perfect. ride. All right. My is it funnier if, like, ghosties want to join in or, like, you have to go do it by yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Swim cap. No, ghosties join. Ghosties join ghosties if they want Ghosties can join to. if they want, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, great. Okay, Elizabeth Virgil, would you like to pick the order for us of s'mores tonight, the s'mores of sauces? All right, we'll do. Awesome. Always. That's cool. That's Jake, Jake Time and Brad. And Brad. <laughs> I don't. I don't yeah. like going first in sauces. Let's go. There's My number one it. sauce is going to be Chick Fil A sauce. Ooh. Can't go wrong. Chick Fil A sauce. Oh. <laughs> yep. Instant gratification on it. That feels good. Yeah, that, that feels that, like that, I didn't that, mess that. that up. Okay. Oh, now I'm nervous to do the wrong one. Okay. Just didn't think. Thanks, Elizabeth. Yeah, alley oop there. Yeah, good answer. Yeah, that's great. Honestly, um, forgot to put it on my list, but it's the right answer. You know, at the same time. Not even on the list. Not even on the list. I'm next, right? Oh yeah, cool, cool, cool. Um, so Chick Fil A was gonna be my first. I'm gonna say Cane Sauce. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Celia going nuts over there. <laughs> Usually she invests in canes. Uh, any justification or just straight up? I think it's a solid competitor to Chick Fil A sauce. It's like kind of a runner up. I don't know. It's just a great complimentary chicken sauce. For those who don't know, well, time. How much are you eating canes without me? Uh, not too much. But honestly, I feel like eating. I, I tend to eat like most of my fast food intake with you. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Every how Wednesday, it tends to work out. Me and Timon go somewhere, and I feel like it's like it's like Timon's like out of his cage, and like, oh, I never have <gasps> this, or I never have yeah, this, yeah. and yeah, so. so many options. Yeah, canes, Chipotle, Panda. Yeah, oh, cane sauce is so canes. I think Cane's is okay, but then you add the Cane's sauce, and Cane's is awesome. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's so much of it's the sauce. Yep. 
Okay, um, please clap no matter what. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with tried and true, American-made ranch. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Jesse Plattner, the, you know, the man with the Amish beard, loves ranch. It's a like, good answer. <laughs> Makes it himself. Um, yeah, ranch, yeah, just works on almost anything. Adds to, you know, you can do burgers, Cottage fries. Cheese. Cottage probably would yeah, be better yeah. with ranch. White on white. Uh, chips, do anything with ranch. Uh, and then next one, a little bit more of a niche pick, but I don't know if it's going to be back, you know, when it comes back around to me. So I'm going to go my favorite sauce at Chick-fil-A, the unsung hero of the lineup, the honey roasted barbecue sauce. Thank you. Thank you. That's a good pick if you want something that tastes exactly like the pick I already no, chose. No, Yeah, that's a good pick if you think if it's, it's the a- rich man's Chick Fil A sauce. <laughs> it's great. It's so good. If you haven't tried it, it's it's like it is like Chick Fil A sauce, but it's got a little more of a tangy kick. So, okay, um, this is a bit of a weird pick, but I think it counts as a sauce. Oh, I'm gonna say, um, picture you're at like IHOP, and you get pancakes and you order the blueberry sauce. That's my pick. I thought for sure it was syrup. Thanks for, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, syrup, pretty good choice. I wouldn't have thought of syrup, but it's blueberry sauce. Hey, yeah. no one vote for Time In Out of Pity, all right? <laughs> we want to all see Time In a swim cap, all right? <laughs> all right blueberry so. sauce. Good, Time In. That's great, bud. Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> I thought for sure syrup, it was yeah. syrup. I was like, no, that, I think that's good. Okay. Um, yeah, it's interesting. You know, it's like I don't even need to win. I just need not to lose. You know, just don't. Jake, right. can you just go to your pick, please? Just go. i <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Okay, I'm gonna go with just classic American. This is what I was afraid you were gonna say. Barbecue. Yeah. Barbecue is great. Right. Yeah. Had it today for lunch. A and lot I'm of claps go- there. Not many cheers, but like a lot of just like solid. Like, like I, yeah, I heard of it. I respect it. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. A good it's, round, it, we, we knew it was pick. gonna be in there. Good value. Yeah, good answer. And then next. Believe it's a sauce. If you're at IHOP, no. Um, I'm gonna go pesto. I I I was nervous about it, so I googled it, and it says okay. a sauce made from Brazilian. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> pesto, really, a pesto guy. McLean's took out pesto. It's killing me. Yeah. I just have the mac and cheese like a regular person. Hey, you can just get it at uh, the store and just throw it in there. The sauce, yes, I could. Lost in the sauce, yeah. Yeah. Love um, pesto. Didn't get a ton of claps with pesto. All right, Timon. Yeah. Would you say your pesto is the best, though? I would say it's between pesto and blueberry sauce. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right, right Timon. <laughs> follow it's it up, It's going to be hard to top blueberry. Um, <laughs> honestly, I, I am kind of lost here. I don't know. I'm going to go with... <laughs> Are you lost in the sauce? <laughs> you lost in the sauce. <laughs> I'm going to say... Uh, I'm going to count salsa as a sauce. It, can I do that? I was also, I, got, I had very little time to prepare. I looked up sauces, and salsa was on the list. <laughs> I think, hey, Alvaro, resident Spanish speaker, salsa, what does that literally translate to? Yeah, we can call it a sauce. We can call it a sauce. How, how do you, isn't the word salsa sauce? Yeah, so you can call it a sauce. Okay. It's in, in Espanol. I believe, isn't the word sauce? How do you say sauce in Spanish? Okay, salsa. Oh, so, yeah. I think it's a sauce. It's a good justification. Great. Yeah. Okay. It's literally yeah. sauce. Um, okay, my next one. Uh, I'm gonna go. Just, just good old fashioned. It, it's, it's not gonna, you know, win beauty p- contest, but it's just, it's a tried and true ketchup. Yeah. Ketchup's wonderful. Yeah. I feel good right now. Dang it. Yeah. I should have gone catch up. And then this is the pick where it's just like, I feel good. I'm not losing this bad boy, so I'm going with this. This is a, my mom calls it sauce. So a lot of people call it syrup. Either way, it takes regular milk and magically turns it into chocolate milk. I'm talking chocolate syrup sauce. Uh. Oh, thank you very much. Uh-oh. I can't believe I didn't think of ketchup. Probably should have said that earlier. <laughs> That's all right. Is it me? Uh, Time in. Okay. Yeah, there's a reason I haven't spoken up. Uh, <laughs> dude, I have no idea what to do. <laughs> Didn't you Google sauces? I did. I, He's Googling right now. <laughs> there's just, there aren't a lot of sauces that I like, and I don't like to choose something I, don't, I can't stand behind. Yeah, he's not a pander picker. That's why blueberry was the second one. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
I'm going to say Arby's sauce. <laughs> I told you there's very few that I like. It's, yeah. What's, okay, okay. Great. What, what did you say? Arby's sauce. Arby's? Yeah. It is hard to hear each other. I was, I'm not being funny. Yeah, it's their just, I guess, like signature sauce. It goes great with their roast beef sandwiches, and I genuinely like it, so that's why I picked it. Well, good for you, Timon. <laughs> <laughs> that's Thank great. Thank you. I thought he said army sauce, and I was like... Army sauce, How yeah. How's that work? Uh, yeah. Okay, my last pick. Maybe it's just recency bias. I had it an hour... Thank you. He's gonna, <laughs> sorry. That's Zach. He's going to do the poll for us. Oh, great, yeah. yeah. That was a flashback to my... Uh, Zach, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, comedy special. Like, right when I get to the end, some guy comes oh, on. Yeah. So I thought you were going to duct tape something. Uh, last pick. I had it an hour ago. I think that's why it feels good. Had some garlic knots. And what else with it? Marinara. Oh! Yeah. Okay. Respect marinara sauce. It was so good. Wouldn't have been the same meal. Absolutely. I went to the pizza place. I said, how long are pizzas? They said, 12 minutes. I said, what do you have right now? It's garlic and marinara. Garlic. It was yeah. great. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Scarfed. Absolutely. And yeah, uh, mozzarella sticks with marinara, nice. Scarf. Yeah. Uh, any uh, time, what were your honorable mentions? Yeah, time to rattle off the other ones. I bet you have a lot. Uh, I had gravy. <laughs> <laughs> Some hearty sauces. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sriracha sauce? I love sriracha. Yeah. yeah. That's not anywhere near any other reaction I got, so I should have. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, those were my uh, other two that were worth mentioning. Okay. Uh, honey mustard's another one that I really like. I had regular mustard. Buffalo sauce. Like, yeah. Tzatziki. Been Tzatziki's going to Kava nice. more. Tzatziki's good. Tzatziki's great. Uh, Chick-fil-A, you get the wrap. Avocado lime ranch or the salad. Oh, That's dude. That's really good. What do you think? If pesto's a sauce, does that mean hummus is a sauce? Go ahead. Too thick. Just, just Too curious. Thick. Okay. Okay, great. I didn't pick it, so. <laughs> uh, cool. Okay. Uh, Zach's going to. Sweet and sour. Did that you was do the it? last one I had. Really? Already? That's amazing. Okay. Uh, on, our, on our Instagram story is a poll, so vote now. Um, I better get, by a, the end get of a vote the, in. Oh, I have like seven Instagram accounts. Clutch. Dude. Or should dude. I not? Don't vote for Timon, dude. Uh, no, uh, do whatever you. Uh, well, uh, yeah, we'll try to make sure we're done with this episode pretty quick, uh, so that we have time to do the Mystic Mystic River. Mystic River um, Falls. So, so yeah, vote on that. Uh, I don't know if even I can vote for myself. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what you're to already choose. disgusted. Oh man. Uh, so anyway, that's been that's been short. Shout out Hannah Warner for the uh, great suggestion. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of any other. Yeah, syrup would have been a good one. Uh, mustard, just a uh, don't don't sleep on mustard. Oh wow, <laughs> Br Brad, early, you, you did good. Early polls are in. Yeah, All you, right. did, you did good. Okay, <laughs> me and Tyron pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we we should probably give it like a few more seconds, or else then people like who just follow us on Instagram are, like voting. Did you just do like? Did you put the list, or did you just put like Tyron and Brad Jake? Okay, yeah. So people would just be like, I don't know, vote for Tyron. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's say it's 9.18 right now. Let's say uh, 9.20. All right, two minutes, cool? get your votes in. Uh, let's do, I don't know, 10 min yeah. minutes or so yeah. of live, live voice memos. So Five and 10. if anyone wants to uh, have something they want to ask us, ask Timon. Feel free to come up. We'll do we have another microphone? microphone or? They can use mine if they want. Okay, okay great. Sure. Come on. Same as sin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Timon will walk it out to you. What's up, Timon, Jake, and Brad? This is Samuel Sin, the official Springfield, Missouri correspondent. Yes, of course. I uh, just had a quick question. We recently noticed you decided to change your artwork on the podcast. Oh, sure. What inspired this? Do you think you'll just randomly change it without warning in the future? <laughs> and what can we expect from you yeah. going forward? That was an emotional <laughs> day for some people. They were like, I don't know if I like this. This is... I did not expect it to be much of a reaction at all for me, buddy. Because we changed it on like a Thursday or something. I didn't think people would like yeah. notice. Yeah. They did. I, I think it was, it was my idea. I just thought it was, I, I never was like super fond of what we had before. Uh, just as far as like a scrolling the, uh, like, like obviously for us there's like nostalgia you know, baked into that picture. Uh, it worked for Rachel and like me getting a wife, but otherwise it wasn't like algorithmically. It yeah, wasn't. but Rachel's not like no, like does she have any notoriety in like Hall of Fame? Not for like a month and a half. No, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. And so I think my thought was like, 
if somebody saw that picture, the old picture of us, they wouldn't know anything about the podcast. If somebody saw this, they might think, those guys look goofy. Maybe at least should... stop and look at it yeah, for a second. Yeah, yeah. I recognize so, that. Uh, and Jake Allen made it, and I always thought it was funny. And I do think that in so many ways, we are Chris Farley and David Spade-esque like, yeah. in our way. Like, like Jake's more witty and like whatever. I'm just, uh, you know, whatever. So, uh, so yeah, I... I I feel like I do need to apologize to certain people that were really like, oh, I don't know about this. Uh, and who knows? If you guys start enough of a riot, maybe we'll change it back. Yeah. But, well, whose podcast is it? Uh, it's my podcast. Yeah. It's yeah. <laughs> but also the Ghosties podcast. So, yeah, thanks for, thanks for the question. Yeah, we never addressed cool. it. So. Samuel, fun question. <laughs> no way. Oh, those Ghosties. You guys are so funny. Man, this is a great episode. Oh. Hey, we're going to interrupt it real quick uh, to talk about Cozy Earth. They're one of our sponsors. We want to uh, talk about them. Um, Hey, CozyEarth.com, just one of the most aesthetically pleasing websites I've ever been to. Uh, and if you don't know, Cozy Earth sells luxury premium products meant to be so cozy, so comfortable, whether they're uh, doing bedding, bath, women's, men's, skincare, whatever it may be, everything they make is high quality, wonderful. We personally, Jake and I both, we sleep in Cozy Earth sheets, different beds, same sheets, not literally same sheets, but same product, Cozy Earth, every single night. And it is noticeable when we go somewhere else, like Branson, that has high quality stuff, but is not Cozy Earth. Uh, so check out CozyEarth.com today um, for your wonderful viscose from bamboo bedding. Uh, it's our favorite thing. If you go to CozyEarth.com slash ghost runners, I won't spell it out for you because if you're here, you know how to spell it. CozyEarth.com slash ghost runners and use our code GRKC. You get 40% off. Wait, 40? You, you, no, 4 per, No, 40% off. Yeah. And even if you, and then they're going to have a post purchase survey. If you say you heard about it from the Ghost Runners, new edition, get some free socks. If you, if you say, hey, yeah, we love the Ghost Runners podcast, we are going to send you free socks courtesy of Cozy Earth. So upgrade your nights, transform your days with Cozy Earth. Whatever you're putting on your body, I hope it's cozy. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. So once again, GRKC, CozyEarth.com slash Ghost Runners for 40% off. You will not regret it. I promise. Now back to that hilarious comment. <laughs> okay, so the word gravy reminded me of this. Um, Who but, are you? Oh, sorry. Yes. I'm Izzy. I'm not like a official correspondent or anything, oh, but OG Ghosty. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. OG so, Ghosty. What can Izzy's I say? been around. Been here and, from the yeah, start. Yeah, we met... Uh, at an amusement park. Yeah, so it's full circle right yeah. now. We although we didn't ride any roller coasters today together, so it was like uh, yeah, so not too late. Mystic, not close. Mystic Riv. Yeah. <laughs> Vote for Tyman. <laughs> well, if you lose, then sure. Yeah. Uh, anyway, um, but so a couple months ago, um, I ate gravy thinking it was mashed potatoes, um, and my friends won't let me live it down. Like literally ate so much of it. Oh, and you then, kept eating. Like it. I kept eating it. <laughs> like, Timon's dream. I <laughs> love gravy. <laughs> like too much of it. And then I got like halfway through and I was like, you know, you know, guys, I think this is gravy. Oh. And then How they were like, what did you think that was? And I was like, mashed potatoes. Like I thought, because I got the food I got, they, there was mashed potatoes, but then there was also gravy that came with it. But they came like separately in two separate containers. <laughs> I didn't see the mashed potatoes, though. Only saw the gravy. Oh. Anyway, all that That's being said, my friends don't let me live it down. Yeah. And so... Understandably so. Yeah, it's a yeah. wild mistake. Um, but is there anything that you guys have ever done like that where it's just like so dumb that your friends like don't let you live it down? Yeah, sure. That's a fun question. First of all, can you let's talk? More yeah, about I have oh, more yeah. questions. We can unpack that. Yeah. yeah. Like how many minutes <laughs> worth of like gravy were you like? Too long. Like it's not like, like it's not like two bites of like. Wait a second. No, it was like it was like a jug of it. So it was like a takeout. <laughs> yeah. Did you use the word jug? <laughs> you say it was a jug of gravy. A jug. Well, J -O -G? sort of. So, okay. So it was like takeout <laughs> containers because we were at this like Top Golf kind of thing, right? And so we got like our Top food Golf ordered. known for their gravy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I worked at a country club, okay? And so okay. we were like at the country club I worked at. And so they had like fancy food, you know? And so gravy. I got like, so, known you know, for fancy and yeah. since, I, since I had a discount, you know, yeah, I yeah. got the, the steak or not the steak. It was a country fried steak. It was just know? a one sauce. Or chicken fried steak. <laughs> chicken fried steak. And so it comes with gravy this and steak mashed potatoes. so good. It was like, yeah, doing the, <laughs> like, trying to get, that's so funny. And so the 
containers came separately. Like, my friends are all, like, golfing. We're all just, like, eating, having fun. You know, uh -huh. I'm just, like, eating away. And then <laughs> they're all golfing, kind of paying attention to me, but, like, not. But they all kind of saw me doing this. Nobody yeah. said a word. I bet, yeah. Nobody said a word. They were just like, okay. She'll figure it out. Yeah. yeah. And then I was like, you know, guys, I'm eating this, and it's really good, but... I think this is the gravy. Sitting yeah. heavy, yeah. And it was, yeah, 100%. And they were all like, yeah, we, we saw you doing that. We didn't really know what you're doing. And oh, I was really? Like, Big like, friends. Okay. Yeah. But it was delicious. Okay. And I stand by it. I was I like, it. I would do it again in a okay. heartbeat. Yeah. I was yeah. with mashed potatoes on the steak instead. You know, it's fine. Gravy is good. I do like gravy. I, I thought it was it. like really thin mashed potatoes. Like that were like with <laughs> Yeah, it's like maybe like it. that's like know. a fancy country club thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah. Um, very cool. Okay, can you think of anything? Not exactly like that. The first thing that came to mind is one time I went to the restroom at Red Robin, and all my friends were like, let's Yum. do like a, let's combine all the sauces into one and wait for them to come back. And I came back, and I ate the whole meal with the <laughs> sauce, and they're like, well, that wasn't a very funny prank. Yeah, yeah. I was like, it was pretty good. Would that have been on your honorary mentions? Yeah, or? it was, well, it was the combination of everything I just yeah. said. Yeah, yeah, that was what I had. And, yeah. 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 I'm trying, I feel like it's almost, I can't think of any, so this is not really true, but like it's almost easier for me to think of yours than mine. Oh, go off. But, I, but I, then I can't think of any. So like Rachel, maybe. what's the dumbest thing I've done? Anything come to mind? Mallet finger. Mallet finger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel like, yeah, one of them is, the, we talked about earlier with my coach, uh, the fence thing. Like ever, ever since my friends heard that, they laughed about that. Another one that's a little more recent that I will, I will go to my grave saying, that they're wrong about is my friends. So the, the owner of the Chiefs uh, has a daughter uh, who is a supermodel. And I followed her on Instagram for a while because I wanted to see, like, she would go to the Chiefs games and, like, behind the scenes. and But she also would post pictures of herself on the beach sometimes. And, and my friend somehow, like, like, we see her on the screen, Gracie Hunt, you know, whatever. And, uh, and I'm like, oh, yeah, like, I follow her on Instagram. And my friends just, yeah, to this day, like, there's your girl, Gracie. And I'm like, <laughs> guys, I followed her. You know, it's like saying I read it for the articles kind of thing. Like, I mean, just I, when we went to the Chiefs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when we, Hooters has good wings. No, yeah, it's, it's really good wings. Uh, so, yeah, it's like, no, I want to see, like, the game day, like, footage behind the scenes. Yeah, behind her scenes. Yeah. <laughs> sure, sure. Wait, just, like, two weeks ago when we went to the Chiefs game, Gunnar replied to my story and said, keep Brad away from Gracie. <laughs> so yeah. it's like it still comes up all the time. That's one of those ones that's, like, you, you try so hard not to lean into it more. You're like, I'm like, making it worse. It's like, but I just can't help. Like, my pride <laughs> is like, guys, I swear, that's not why I followed her. She's but. a member at my church, so. See, she's a just Christian, guys. Just don't ever come to, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, so. I could do worse. No. Yeah. Um, that's funny. There you that's go. fun. That's a good good recall. I'm trying to think of spot. any other ones that we've given you. I mean, we've just, like, overall, like, your fashion back in the day, we've always given you a hard time oh, for. Oh, yeah. Rachel loves a good 2010 photo yeah. of me. Yeah. Uh, I dress like my uncle dresses now. <laughs> oh! <laughs> shots fired! <laughs> <laughs> I can't even see his lower half, but I could tell you it's it's basketball shorts to his shins, and I'm gonna say some some all black shoes probably. I That's will a good say, question. Yo, yeah, yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> he shows them off. I will say, Jake, your dad walked in earlier, and I whispered to somebody, "Man, he he's dressed like a dad." Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's good. You look nice. Yeah. <laughs> a good looking dad. I mean, yeah. my dad would wear the same thing, and I love my dad. Right. So Absolutely. he was just like, man, that's a dad outfit. Told you know? me they enjoyed your shirt tucked in last night. I don't know what that means. but <laughs> <laughs> it Own it. It's a dad in. thing to tuck it in. I think, I, yeah. yeah. But it looks nice. <laughs> if you want. Yeah. yeah, tucked in. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it was a compliment. It was a compliment. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to untuck the left. Yeah, go a little half and half. That's what it's, yeah, it's good. Cool. Thank you for the uh, question, Izzy. Yeah, do one, maybe Did we see more. the polls, by the way? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. All right. What's the results? Alvaro, give us the official results. Don't look, Jake. I haven't looked. The results are in. It is uh, Jake, 19%. Brad, 75%. And Timon, 6%. Oh, <laughs> Timon! <laughs> Wow. Wait, someone else has something different? Oh, he's got the swim cap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tyler. You're going to look great in that, buddy. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, okay. 
We have a Jake twenty one percent. Brad forty. Time in thirty nine. Whoa 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 whoa. whoa, 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 whoa. Jake twenty one. Time in or Brad forty. Forty thirty nine. What do you have? Because our Instagram followers got in there and they like timing. Dang it! Anybody check at nine twenty, mom? Oh, oh, here we go. Another Zach, recount. Zach has a result. No, no, come on. Give, get on the microphone here. This is like the, the 2000 this election. Yeah. This is like Florida's in. Florida's in. I just want to say there's a resounding winner by far. Are you making your voice deeper on purpose? <laughs> there's a resounding winner by far. <laughs> Brad Ellis. Yeah. Okay. Okay. By okay. far. And then the loser by one point. Whoa. Jacob Triplett. Oh! Oh, yeah. Good luck. <laughs> Unreal. I lost Unreal. to Blueberry? <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> oh, I love that. I'm going to do a straw poll every single person in here who they voted for. Yeah, really. Oh, there's no way I lost that. It's all right, though. Oh, man. It's going to be a damp night. Yeah. That's so fun. Okay. All right, let's do uh, yeah, one more. or two more questions. Yeah. What's up, Cody, my man? <laughs> yeah. For the record, I'm sorry, Jake, but I will not ride that with you, so. <laughs> no worries. Um, also, also, yeah, vlogging this too, so. Why Vlog can, it, baby. I, I'll wait to post all after the episode, I promise. So, <laughs> um, I'm Cody Davis, the official C of O correspondent. All right. And um, A, Branson correspondent. Cool. We got uh, Mariah Garrett here and uh, Natalie Calvert. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, you guys did it better. But, um, <laughs> yeah, what can Jake I say? I, it's too small. Yeah. I don't, I, don't have the reach like, I don't have the reach like you guys do. So, anyway, my, um, I have uh, two questions. One, this other one's very short, so, anyway. Um, so, I know you guys talked about the games at the Chiefs tailgate, how, how badly that went. Um, what games would you guys have come up with for the tailgate? Oh, and fun. then, Timon, the, a question that's been burning in our minds. Have you finished your history yet? Oh. Yes. Good questions, good questions. Timon, let's start that one first. History, yes or no? No. Okay. <laughs> good. Gave us time to think of some stuff. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> what about, like, do you think Bell Ball would be an interesting thing to watch? <laughs> I love Bell Ball, dude. Bell Ball's where you get like a bunch of wood and an octagon. And, or no, wait. What's what? that? What am I thinking of? I don't know. You go. Octo. Oh, octo, octo Ball. Yeah, also, oct would, I'd watch that over a barbecue sauce race, maybe. Yeah. Uh, Bell Ball is like the dodgeball, but with one ball. And oh, you can only, yeah. m if you have the ball, you can't move, but everyone else can move. And it's so fun. It, until you're, you're, yeah, you go until one person is the last man standing. Yeah, just like PE games, zombie dodgeball. That's fine. When you're out, you sit down, you get back in if you catch one. Pretty oh, see, electric. That's, yeah, and that's how I do bell ball. If you get, you go to your knees and then you touch somebody else below their knees, I might do in. reverse charades. Seems reverse like a hit. Charades is do fun. that. Yeah, I would do something. Uh, I mean, probably like some sort of like Swifty themed something just to get more people sure. watching. Yeah. Hard to think of games like this on the fly on right the now, fly. but I would do something like that. Throw. Instead of football toss, throw Travis's wedding ring on Taylor's finger. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's it. That's the idea. I mean, the, f the football toss in and of itself is not like a bad idea, but just figuring out a way to spice it up maybe one extra step. Or honestly, the, she, we blindfolded this girl, and then all she had to do was throw it straight. Throw it to a guy who's not blindfolded. The who's original in the Chiefs' ring was, of honor. It was a decent idea, the original yeah. one of like try to figure out where these things are or something. But um, something that like that would have more contact, I think, would be kind of fun. Like, like, like whatever. Like, uh, safe contact, but like something like Oklahoma drill esque, <laughs> but like with I don't know with like bubbles or something like. Oh yeah, bubble soccer. Yeah, something. the bubble soccer, but yeah. Oklahoma drill Bub style, where you like you bounce you're both, off you're each both, other. Yeah, they lie you both down on the ground, and you have to like you have to figure out how to pop up, you and then to once you pop yourself. up, yeah. yeah, the first person knock the other person over. That's Pretty a good fun. idea. And you have to hold a football the whole time, <laughs> yeah. out outside of your <laughs> bubble. So you're just like, yeah, it'd be fun. That's a good idea. So, fun question, Cody. Yeah, Thank you. fun question. Yeah, come on. Elizabeth Virgil, come on. We'll see you next, Maddie. I see that hand. See Maddie's that hand. on deck. 
Then Ellie. So I actually sent this voice memo in a long time ago, and it's never gotten played. Oh, so. I think, oh, oh we were just about to. That's right. We were uh, <laughs> time and uh, lost well, what it. Did we, we did Monday. We'll yeah, see. Yeah, we okay. were using software. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> so I had to tell you guys how you were part of a huge God full circle moment for me. So the first time I ever went to Kansas City was in 2004. I just got a job for a traveling minister, and we went to our first church, which was Antioch Church, and okay. we got a big offering there. And it just felt like it was God saying, this is a new day for you. This is good things. I went back February 12th, 2022, and as I was driving back to my hotel, I passed Antioch Church. Yeah. And I just felt God say, like, it's a new day. It's a new start. And so I just, first of all, want to say thank you for doing Ghost Runners events because yeah. all these ghosties have become my friends and it's been a whole new chapter for me. And I want to say, if anyone's listening who hasn't come to a Ghost Runners event, you need to come because that's the best community ever. So, but, so thank you for making that full circle for me. But then also I wanted to ask you if you've had a God full circle moment like that where it's like, wow, only God could have connected those dots for Never. me. Never. No. No. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. No. I love that. That's that's a, such a sweet. I was I was getting teary thinking about that. Elizabeth. That's really cool. Um, yeah. I'm sure there's better examples than this. Uh, yeah. I don't know about if it's a full circle moment. I'm just thinking about the idea. Like so. Yeah. Tomorrow, leading worship. Uh, obviously, playing guitar and singing for that. Um, and I, I don't know if this is the Right answer, Elizabeth. But um, I learned how to play guitar because I had a crush on a girl who liked somebody else because he was playing guitar. And I was like, okay, I'll learn how to play guitar to impress Easy. the girls. Yeah, it's a formula. And yeah, little did we know that the Lord was going to use that in way better, you know, more fulfilling, glorifying ways than uh, to try to impress a girl. It did impress one girl, and I married that girl and had four kids with that girl. But um, that was not the original girl that I was trying to learn guitar for. Uh, and yeah, just thinking about like, my parents are here. Just think about the money they spent on guitar lessons back in high school. And I was like, oh, man, if I learn this Led Zeppelin guitar solo, like, oh, Danielle will love me. You know, whatever. <laughs> and now looking back, you know, and just thinking about. Um, Why you yeah. were doing those lessons. Yeah, yeah, right. Why I was doing that, where it's going to eventually come to. And hopefully, you know, the Lord would use that as a vessel for, for him and to glorify him. So um, I don't know if that's exactly right. Um, I also just think about, uh, you know, I was talking to Izzy, I think, about um, a conversation she had with you that led her to camp, that then led her to yeah. Dallas, where she is now, and, like, all these things. And I always think about, like, if I wouldn't have worked at camp and would have done this summer training program in Jacksonville in college instead, like, I wouldn't have, you know, it, it's just fun to think about those full circle moments where it was like, I wouldn't have ever worked at camp, and I wouldn't have ever met Catherine, and I wouldn't have met Jake from that, and we wouldn't have, none of us would be here, right? you know, whatever. It's just wild to think like that. Um, so... I'll just say, uh, my guitar lessons for sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was a really good answer. This yeah. whole time I've been trying to think. I'm like, I don't, I don't, know. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of like coincidences. I don't know if it's a full circle, maybe a half circle or well, something. Okay, yeah. Go. Do you, another one that's go just off. a true full circle. <laughs> another one that's like, I don't. We we would maybe still be here without this full circle. But like, I played baseball growing up with my coach, and <laughs> uh, yeah, every once in a while, my best friend Scott Peck, Scott Sell, uh, Mormon, could not play on Sundays, and so we had this pipsqueak little like cousin of Steve Triplett or Steve Fulbright come named Jake Triplett, and I didn't even know the kid. I was just like, who is this kid that like, yeah, somehow really good at baseball, even though he's like four foot four and like was incredible, and then never realized like you know who he was at the time, or never made the connection when I hung out with Jake for like three years. And finally, we mentioned one thing at a Firehouse Subs. I remember that. We were at Firehouse Subs, and you're like, yeah, dude, my cousin played with Darren Sproles. I was like, who, who? my sister like was a cheerleader. With, who's your cousin? And then we're like, dude, Steve Fulbright's your cousin? And I was like, <laughs> you're kidding me. We've uh, been friends for four years at that point. Never put it together. Truly a full circle moment of like, well, we knew each other this way, and we've known each other for way longer than we realized, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of a fun thing that's a to good think answer. about. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that's the Lord being like, watch this. But, like, uh, <laughs> it is cool to think about, like, yeah, our paths crossing at different times. And who knows? Who knows? Yeah, all the things that had to happen for us to be here is just a cool thought. So Those are the stuff I think about. Like, yeah. think about, like, how Rachel, how we ended up together. Like, we think she Bro? was listening to Walk in Love, and then we think it was suggested at the bottom of the app, and then thank goodness she listened to that one Office episode. Yes. And then thank goodness for some reason she decided to move to Kansas City, and then right. she went to Top Golf that night, yep. and then she also had to go to Meadowbrook the next week. Like, all five of those things had to happen for us to, like, yes. meet each other. And, and yes, like, because I think, <laughs> I, I do geek out about this as well, because it's like, because I think it was you, me, and Sammy at Top Golf. Yeah? Yeah. Cool guy, Sammy. And, 
I guarantee you, knowing Sammy, he was the instigator of that night. Like, he just wanted to hang out with us, and we were like, yeah, sure, let's do That's it. That's a good point. What if Sammy did? What if Sammy was like, you know what? I'm kind of tired tonight. Or like, what if 15 other people wanted to play pickleball that night, and or so we the got courts assigned, were full? Yeah, we got assigned to a different bay. Bro. Right to walk by. I know. It's wild. Yeah. It's crazy. So There's a lot of things like that. I'm like, thank goodness he did that. Thank goodness we named it Friday Pickleball, or else we wouldn't be doing Seriously. this. Seriously. That's the only reason we're yes. even together is because we had the same name. 100%. So. Yeah. Anyway. That's a yeah. fun question. All right, let's do one more. Maddie, Maddie Oliver? Oh, she doesn't want to do oh, it. Oh, she's like, well, it's not like a good last one. Um, no, it'll be great. Maddie, who's moving to Kansas City tomorrow. Car is packed. Yeah, baby. Following us back. Our neighbor. I wish I wouldn't before that last question. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so blueberry sauce. You know, sauce. like the if I were a worm things that girls do, right? Like oh, if I like worm, if I didn't have arms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Gabe and I are from a small town, <laughs> and I was like, this isn't based on true events. I was like, Gabe, like if someone you know came up to us and was like, we found out we were related, like right now. Oh. Like how many? generations of cousins would we need to be separated for you to feel comfortable to stay married to me okay. and i was just wondering if you guys haven't like you have kids so yes. i don't know if <laughs> it would really matter would you just so stay? far so good yeah 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 and, Daniel, so you, and the mings thought this was a good question to ask so i just want to so are you saying uh like you're just asking like what's what's my generation yeah, number what do you feel comfortable staying with, like, with catherine yeah that's a good question um I've heard people say, like, if you're from a small town, if you've dated your small town, like, don't do 23 and me. Like, if you're happy and you oh, have wow. a boyfriend or girlfriend, like, it's not worth seeing if you're related. Um, I say, let's roll the dice. Yeah. <laughs> Rachel and I are so different. I would be shocked if we share any genetic traits. Um, <laughs> yeah, same with Catherine. I feel like uh, yeah. in, in no way are we similar. But and they get... Uh, uh, Four generations? I don't even. I don't even have. I have a hard time. I think second cousins, all good. Which, uh, <laughs> second? Which one is that? Is that like a cousin of like a first cousin? Okay, I see you at Christmas. Second cousin, you're let's, fine. Let's have some fun. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what They're, a second cousin is though, but it I, feels, I don't, I don't know my second cousins. So. I think they do though, and they are yeah. not like this answer. They seem to have a better idea of the genealogy. That's your dad's cousin. Uh, yeah, you're fine. Yeah. Yeah. Go for it, buddy. If you're happy, you're happy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it's great. Thank you. Yes. Thanks, absolutely. Maddie. Because it, it's one thing if, it, if you're like just at the beginning of a relationship, that's a different conversation. But if you're, you're they're already married, you know, it's, it's too late now. Let's go for it. Fun question. <laughs> oh, I had a bonus. <laughs> no, Are the Ming's cousins or something? Is that why? <laughs> I feel like she's about to say the Mings are cousins. Yeah, move yeah, yeah. away. <laughs> to where? <laughs> Sedan? Where we how far? You don't want the stigma. <laughs> yeah, he's moved to Arkansas where it's fine. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, let's 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 wrap this up so that we can uh, <laughs> see you in the Mystic, Mystic Rib. Rib. I really, yeah. man. Stop the steal, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, I'm just kidding. Um, all right, so we've got a, um, oh, we have reviews of the week real quick. And then oh. we got a little jingle. Let's, let's, let, we'll, we, yeah, we'll, it's Wednesday. Win of the week. Win of the week, you hey, got. Natalie. Natalie Sawyer. Social Birdie, Sycamore Creek, Jensen, everybody. Thank you guys for coming. Um, and I guess this is not a, a jingle week either, so we don't have to do a jingle. It's freaking Wednesday. Sorry, I shouldn't say freaking. Sorry for saying for you. Just, you, yes or no? No, we don't need to do it. They saw me sing earlier. It's fine. Guy, oh. Fine. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Fun times. That A was bonus great. jingle for you. Who wrote that one? Ross Ferens. Ross. He's back oh. in the game. Yeah, Good so shout out to Ross. Him. I had no idea there was going to be a jingle about me. That yeah. was really fun. Surprise, baby. That was sweet. That's, that was very fun, yeah. Wow. Pretty cool. So. All right. Well, this is fun. We did it. I'm going to go ahead and say it. I'm taking the plunge with you, brother. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Mystic River, here yeah. we come. All right. We love you guys. We love all the ghosties out there. Thank you guys for coming. 
Uh, it's been so much fun. Shout out once again, Silver Hour City, Social Birdie, Sycamore Creek. Such a fun weekend in Branson. Thank you guys for coming. We love you guys. We'll see you Monday. Ghost Runners Podcast. Everybody.